Bravo Tempura coins. And we got a couple of boxes of nickels. Let's get into these guys and see what we got. Guys. So, I really just recorded that intro with these boxes because I actually already started into this first box. And thank, uh, I tried to do this as a live stream because it's Christmas. Uh, but I couldn't get my technology to work with me. Uh, it was camera was cutting out and internet wasn't too good. So I ended up doing a video, but I thought, well, I'll just get into this box to see if it's uh, going to actually do anything uh, for making a video out of it. But, uh, you know, I, I can tell you right now, we're only, uh, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, 14 rolls into this thing and let, let me just show you what we found just so far so the biggest find of the box so far that i found is this nice buffalo i found that within the first three or four rolls i can't get a date off of it it's pretty worn pretty slick but hey when you find a indian head buffalo nickel yeah, well, you can't be mad at that. So I also found these two. It's a 1987 and a 1970 Denver with really a lot of good luster still on them. Almost like mint state. Uh, I'm going to do some research because this 70, it's almost proof like uh, that was a Denver. It's so shiny. So I'm going to do a little bit of research on that and as we go through. And this one's close to having that for this 1987D being almost proof-like in its thing. So the other things that I found that have come up in this is a 1952. But when I flipped it over, as you can see, I don't know if you can make up the thing, but it's a Ness mint mark. 1952, which is so far the oldest of the box. This next one is a 1968. And it is also an S mint nickel. This one, 1970 S mint nickel. And this one is a 1969 S mint nickel. So, wow, pretty, this box is pretty hot so far. Uh, so I'm anxious to see what else I can, I can find in here. The only other two things, if you look over here in my thing, I, I got two of these uh, 2005 uh, Ocean View of the Joy nickels i don't have any of these in my collection so i pulled them out i'll probably pick one of them to be my best but let's get back to this hunt and see what else we can find like i said we're just starting into box one uh we've only gone through a row and a half of nickels so let's get back to this let's see what other goodies we can find because so far this box been pretty hot let's do it all right guys so i bring you back in we're about three rows into this box, and we have found our next find. That's right, we have a war nickel. S mint mark. 1942. S mint mark war nickel. That's pretty awesome. One buffalo, one war nickel. You can't be mad at that. What a find. All right, lots more nickels to hunt. We're coming up pretty good. I'll bring you back in when I find All something right, else. Look what I just found. A 1939 nickel. I haven't flipped it over yet. Let's flip it over together. Hope it's a D. Oh my God, it is. It's a D. If you look over here, at Rob finds the treasures. Map, it's a key date, 1939 D, and that's what we got. 
1939. Denver Mint. Awesome find. All right, guys. Let me get back. This is the last row of this box. Finding that 1939D in this box is great, but it's been a it's been a wild ride. But I'll I'll sum it up here in a little bit. Get All right, back. fellow agents. Man, that was an awesome box. I hope the sister box to that one is just as uh, great uh, as the other one. As you can see, I've got a, a line of finds that we've had here. Uh, so I'll go over those in order from left to right and see. But man, it was just a, a very hot box with a lot of finds. Pretty cool. Of course, the earliest one we found is this. Uh, Buffalo nickel. Unfortunately, there's no way to tell what the uh, date is on it. It's pretty worn smooth, as you can see. Um, I might buy some nickel date uh, to put on it to see if I can recover anything, but I even threw it under the microscope and I couldn't tell anything at all uh, about it. And I did not see any mint mark or anything on the back side of this coin so but hey you know it's a buffalo nickel so you just can't be mad at that uh, next find that we had is this 1939 and it's a Denver so that is a key date nickel so that is an awesome find the next find that we found was this 1950, which is actually a semi-key date. And it was a Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, I mean, that we found. We found two of these 1952, 1952 S-Mint It's Mint Nichols. Found two of those. Pretty cool. This 1968 S. Mint Nickel. We found in the box. We found two of these 1969 S. Mint Nichols in this box. Pretty cool. We found three of these 1970s mint nickels. Which is pretty cool. We did find silver in this box. We found a 1942s mint war nickel. So that's cool. Can't beat finding also a silver in this box we found see six nickels that were in their 40s found a 1947 a 1946 a 1940 another 1940 and last was a 1941. Yep. That was pretty cool. And we found, let's see, seven in the 50s. So we found a 1951, 1956, 1957. Another 1957, 1959, 1954, and 1952. Oh, those were pretty good finds. We found these great, in pretty great shape, which I'm going to keep them. Uh, Nichols. This one is a 1988 Denver. 
got a lot of shine on it so still so I thought I'd keep that one this other one is 1987 still got a lot of luster on it pretty good shape and then there's this last one here and I don't know if you can make it out considering the shine on it uh, there we go you look at that mirror finish now, it's the 1970D but man I just, I don't know, leave me a comment down below. If, you know, I did some Google searching, like I said, and I didn't see anything about Denver Mint having, you know, a proof uh, set. But man, that just, that mirrored finish on it is just something else. I mean, it's almost like it's a proof planchet that it, uh, thing. So leave me a comment down below what you think on this nickel. Because, man, it is something. We did have one foreign in the box that we found, which was this Elizabeth II Canadian, five cent, with the beaver on it. We had this nice 2004. I checked for the double die. I didn't see any doubling on it, but it's very good shine to it. Probably better than the one I have, so it's going to be an upgrade to my collection. Uh, we had one miscellaneous. I got shorted four cents in one of the rows and got a 2017 Pennsylvania, uh, Philadelphia uh, one cent. That counts as miscellaneous. And I took these two nice 2005 uh, Ocean View of the Joy. Nickels, I don't have those in my collection, so I found a P and a D, so I don't keep those. So, guys, awesome box. I can't complain. You can't get mad at it. You know, I've seen lots of box battles, and I would probably would have cleaned the plate considering uh, what I found in this one. And this is just the first box, so I can't wait to get into the second box. So, I'm gonna go ahead and crack this baby belly open get into it and see if we find anything. And once we do, I'll bring y'all back in and we'll see what finds we have in this box ahead of us. All right, so without further ado, time to get back to the hunt. All right, everybody. So we're about, let's see, six rows in and we found a 1970S in this rose in pretty good shape we found a very dirty 1941 and in pretty good condition 1972 which according to the red book is a very low mintage so I thought I'd pull that one out but the main reason I brought you in is I pulled out the next row and take a look at this. We might have found a blank Platchet. So I'm going to uh, open this roll on camera and let's see what we got because I've never seen anything like that. At least not had the pleasure of having one so I'm really anxious to see what this thing is so let's let's open her up and see oh wow uh, might be post mint damage We might have sanded this thing. Let's see it up against another one. No, nope, thickness seems about right. You can barely see. Well, it's awful scratched up though.
Got a lot of wear around the edges too. Hmm. Lots of scratches. I'm gonna throw this underneath the microscope. See what I can see. But that's very interesting. Be right back. I got this under the microscope. And you can see, you know, in there, that it looks like there's, you can make out a little bit of what may be the, uh, you know, it was a weak strike. It didn't get always struck right. With the die, kind of twisted. y'all think leave me a comment below definitely an interesting find a little wear over here the rest of the back looks fine the wear around the edges is very interesting all right let's get back to it see what else we can find all right fellow agents we're back uh, with a recap of that box wasn't as good as the other box. We didn't find any buffaloes, v nickels, or even any silver, but we did find some, a little bit of interesting things, and we did find some nice 40s and 50s, and even a 39. Uh, so let's go over the recap of this. So first up is this 1939 that we did find. It is not the 1939D, which is a uh, key date like we found in the last box, but it is an early find and it's the earliest find of this box that we found uh, After that we come up with the 1954 uh, The 1954 I did check uh, since it is a S mint mark Nickel I did check for the uh, S over D and it is not an S over D uh, repunch mint mark uh, but it is an S, so it's, that's pretty cool. We did find another 1954 in that box. But that 1954 is a D mint mark. And not an S. So, but can't be mad at a 1954. Next up is this 1955. And I did check on the 1955 that it is a semi-key date. So, that's pretty nice. It is a Denver Mint 1955. So that's pretty cool. I did check for the D over S on that also. And uh, it wasn't nothing, anything there to a thing. I mean, you can pretty much almost see on, without being it under the microscope, that it's pretty clear the D Mint mark. We did find two 1969 S mint marks, which was pretty good. They're both in very good shape. So that was pretty cool. We found six in the 1940s. Oh, no, these are 1970 S mint marks. Sorry. We'll get to the 40s and 50s in a minute. These are all S mint marks. We found six of those in various stages. But all these were uh, in pretty good shape except for this one. This one's pretty, pretty worn and tattered, but the rest of them turned out to be Pretty good shape for 1970 mint marks. S marks. So these are the 1940s that we found. We found a 1946. We found a 1947. 
we found a real dirty, probably was in the ground uh, from the look of it, 1941 nickel. Another 1941 nickel, but in a lot better shape. We found a, and then another 1941. We found a few of those. This one's 1946. Good shape. And then a 1940. No mint mark on it. That'll fill it out there. Those are the 1940s that we found. On to the 1950s, we found four of these. We found one 1950, which is a semi key date. I think that's a 1950. No, excuse me, that's a 1959. So it's not a key date. Uh, stick it on that. My bad. And then we found another 1959. And then we found a 1951. And another 1959 in that box. Did find this great looking 1960. So I pulled that out because it's it's pretty low mintage on the 1960. If you go in and look at the red book uh, down here for 1960, we only had 55 million of those actually minted. So I thought I'd keep that one uh, since it has very low mintage. I think the next one, next of these are actually pretty low mintage under a. Uh, under a hundred uh, million actually minted. So, uh, this one is uh, 1961. I found three of those. And if you go look at the red book on there in the 1961, only 73 million of them were minted uh, of those. The 1962 is pretty much the same way. There's only 97, min 97 million minted of the 1962. And this one's a 1968. What's mentioned on that, uh, according to the Red Book. And this one is a D, I believe, because there were, duh, 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 yes, a D. There were no uh, Philadelphia's minted that year. Only 91 million of these were minted. So, a couple of unique finds of the box, of course, is this milled down. Nickel. And I talked to both uh, Rob Finds Treasure and Robin Hood Coins about this, and, and we're all pretty much in agreement uh, that you can, uh, that it is a post mint damage. Somebody was sanding it down, trying to make a planchet or something, because even at the edges, as we saw in the microscope, you can make out some of the lettering still. So it's still a nice little find. It's kind of unique. Uh, I did keep these two out because they're in pretty good shape. Another uh, 2004 uh, Lies and a purchase nickel. Uh, I thought I'd put that in my collection, and they're a nice uh, 2019 D uh, nickel, which I didn't have yet. So I'll put that in my collection. We did find one foreign of the bunch, another five cent Canadian beaver nickel. That we found. Uh, I was shortchanged twice by four cents in these bank wrapped rows. Somebody put in a 1916 shield cent, which that's going back. However, this 1971 is in pretty good shape. I mean, really good shape for a penny. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this 1971 penny because it's in pretty good shape. We did find one ugly that's been pretty worn. Got a lot of tonnage in it uh, that we found. I thought that was kind of a unique find. So guys, that's all that came out of box two. Uh, nothing to be 
too sad about. And there were some great finds in this as well. Uh, fortunately, there was no war nickels or no uh, uh, v, uh, v nickels or, or buffaloes in it, which uh, was a little disappointing since uh, the excitement of the first box. But give me a second, and we'll be right back with our time table event. So, see you in a bit. All right, we're back, fellow temporal agents. So for our time travel back in time, uh, this episode, we will be going back to the year 1939, when this nickel was minted, and our 1939D that we found in the previous box time. So what was going on back then? So. In 1939, the major news stories included World War II begins, Germany, the Soviet Union, attacked Poland and Britain and France, India and Australia and New Zealand, declared war on Germany on September 3rd. Uh, the United States decided to remain neutral, but did begin rearming for, which helped end the Great Depression. The United States also hosted the World's uh, Fair in New York earlier in that year. Also, speaking to the physicist Albert Einstein, the President Roosevelt initiated America's A-bomb program that year. So what was it like the cost of living back in 1939? An average house would have cost you $3,800. Average wages were $1,730. A gallon of gas would cost you two of these. So 10 cents a gallon. Average cost of renting a house was $28 a month. A little loaf of bread would cost you eight cents, so one nickel and two pennies. We get about a loaf of bread. What else is going on? Let's see. Uh, average price of a new car was $700. A can, four cans of soup would cost you 25 cents. So, about five more of those, and you would have had yourself four cans of soup. Almost a week's worth of lunches. Uh, what else happened during that time? Uh, let's see. The Treaty of Versailles was made. Germany paid retributions to certain countries, giving up land and country. forced to disarm in. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, let's see. What else? And I say started, of course, the Manhattan Project, like I said, in December of 1938. The start of the thing, uranium fusion was discovered. The physicists began to study nuclear physics. So that's why the 8-bomb was started off. Let's see. What else? Russian troops invaded Finland during that time. The Hewitt Packard Company was created. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Lou Gehrig retired from Major League Baseball after being noticed for, by, uh, for ALS during that year. Pretty cool. Well, guys, that's it for our uh, travel back in time. So, hope you enjoyed that. And I'll be right back in a few minutes. All right, fellow agents. I've decided for this video, we're going to be giving away these three nickels. So, we're going to be giving away that buffalo nickel. It didn't have a date or a mint mark on it. So, I'm going to go ahead and give that away. In this video, along with a 1969 S mint and one of the 1970 S mint nickels that I got. So there will be one winner, the one winner will get all three nickels. So for this video, as usual, please leave a comment down below on this video 
And then seven days after the posting of this video, we will be able to do a drawing with a random comment picker and pick the winner of this these three nickels. So please like and subscribe to my channel. Put a comment down below so you can win. And as always, happy hunting and good luck.